Hey all, Lawrence from Express Unity here, and today we are going to be continuing our multiplayer FPS tutorial. Um, so where we left off is we created our register form and our login form. Uh, however, when we logged into the game, uh, like so, it would give us an error because there's currently no scene for it to switch to. So, what we're going to do is create a new scene, uh, and I'm going to call it Photon. And then inside the login scene, where we have our playfab off, level 2 load will be Photon. Uh, the next thing we want to do is go to build settings, and add our Photon scene. So now that when we go into our master scene, and we log in, it should switch the scene over to Photon. Uh, so, should be able to just log in like normal. And there, there it is, it's logged into the Photon scene. Now, what I want to see, because this is something that I haven't really tested before, is I want to see if Playfab is actually still keeping a setting once uh, a session, sorry, once we full uh, switch to another scene. Because right now we've been using uh, asynchronous scenes um, and they've just been overlaid on top of each other. I want to see once we switch to Photon if we're still connected. So just for now, I'm going to create another test script. Um, so C sharp, I'm just going to call it test again, and I'm going to just add it to the main camera. And I'm just going to be using uh, Playfab and then using Playfab.ClientModels, whoops. Client models, and now I just want to see what we can call in order to test that we're connected. So let's see. We could we could purchase an item. We could also add virtual currency. Alright, let's do this. So, let's go to economy. Let's go to currency. Let's add a new currency. Uh, currency code, I'm going to call it CO, and the display name is going to be coins. Um, I want an initial deposit uh, of, say, 5,000. This will give the player enough currency to buy uh, any weapon um, within the lower tier. So save currency. And then let's go to catalogs. Let's create a new catalog. And I'm going to call it uh, weapons. So I just want to save the catalog. And I want to actually um, let me see something real quick. So if I go new bundle, add bundle. Okay, so we can add items to the bundle. So what I'm going to do is new item, item ID. I'm just going to call it, uh, I don't know what to call it. I don't really want a pistol because it's kind of lame. I want to kind of just get into... I don't know. Alright, maybe we'll just call it Glock. <laughs> Got no idea. Um, display name going to be Glock again. You can have different types of Glocks and just have like, I don't know, Glock 18 and whatever other blocks there are, no idea. Um, item class, don't really need anything. 
It's stackable, it's not stackable, it's tradable, not trade. Oh, we could make it tradable actually. We could have a whole trade system. Um, but we'll leave that for another day. And um, we'll make it consumable. Hmm, by count. Items can be consumed by count and or time. This period must be more than two seconds. Alright, so by count. So I'm gonna make that... Whoops, I'm gonna make that one. Basically what this allows us to do is eventually when we get the whole store up and running, uh, instead of manually deleting these items, we can consume them and then uh, when we sell them, we return or give currency to the player um, in the callback. So we'll make a consumable by can of one. Currency is just going to be CO and the amount of the Glock we are going to make, say 500. So let's save item. And then I want to delete this first item. And now let's go back to bundles. Let's create a new bundle. And let's call it starter kit. And the display name will be starter kit. So this will be again, actually, yeah, it will be consumable, but it will be by time. And the time will be seconds uh, 0.5. Um, so I think what this will allow us to do is remove the bundle from the player's inventory, but then we can add items instead. So let's go ahead and give the player a Glock. And on top of that, Actually, no, because the player already has 5,000 uh, initial deposit. So we just, we're just we going to just give him the Glock. Currency, we're just going to say CO, and the amount will be zero. And save bundle. So that should be it. If we now go to economy, weapons. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do dot purchase item oh, is it purchase or is there a no no it's purchase all right so dot purchase item and then we want to do uh what was it a purchase request purchase item request we're going to call it request equals new purchase item request now this request is going to have the catalog version equal to weapons it's then going to have the item ID equal to starter kit. And then it's going to have the price equal to zero because we didn't give this uh, bundle a price. Now we can just pass in the request. We can get our result callback and our error callback. All right, so I'm just going to debug.log and I'm just going to say you have claimed the starter kit and then in the error, I'm just going to output error.error .error message. All right, so if this works in our player that we log in with, we should get our item in our inventory. So we should currently have nothing. If we play, uh, so let's just quickly save the scene and go back to the master scene. Log in with our account. Once it's logged in, it should start the request. Ah, uh, invalid parameters. Alright, well... It hasn't given us an error that we're not logged in, so that's a good first step. So, let me just see if I've... What else I've forgotten here. 
Uh, so we've got our oh, virtual currency. So we want to make this equal to our coin, which is the two, uh, the, basically the short code that it wants us to set. So I'm pretty sure that was our only problem. Just a check. Just refresh the inventory. Should have no items. We have no items. Very good. Now, if we go ahead, log in. Good. Item not found this time. All right. So, uh, let me see. So, catalog version is weapons. Uh, oh, the bundle not there. Did I not save it? Uh, let's do this again. Start a kit. Display name. Start a kit. It's going to be consumable by seconds. 0.5 seconds. And currency. We're going to select coins. We're going to make it zero. And save bundle. Oh, usage must be more than two seconds. Okay, so make it two seconds then. Save bundle. All right, make it five seconds. <laughs> Save bundle. Uh, this bundle must have some, all oh, right. Uh, so we actually want to add the Glock and then save. All right, so let's try that again. Now, if we log in, Uh, we should now obtain the item. Uh, let me see. So, start a kit. Go to the player. Alright, so, let me see, start a kit, it's in the catalog, weapons, special currency, is there anything else that I'm missing, I don't believe so. Um, as far as I can tell, it should be working. Let's go back and just check on everything. Um, okay, yeah, so, looks like, um, okay, so, let's just try, let's just try claiming the block, uh, instead of the bundle for now. Um, price should be zero, so it shouldn't matter if the player has currency or not. So let's give that a shot. the The whole point of this is just to see if the playfab session is kept throughout Unity, because I'm not quite sure. I I think it will be. Uh, let's just log in. 
Wrong price. Okay. Oh, don't destroy by fab. Okay, so maybe it is... It's not destroyed. Okay. So, I could find that. Um... So, just trying to think as to why it can't find the starter kit item. Let's try it again. Maybe there was just... Maybe my internet dropped out for a second while it was doing that one run. Let's clear. Let's log in. Okay. Oh, okay, you have found the starter kit. Yeah, my internet must have just dropped out for a second. Uh, so, go to inventory. Um, okay, yeah. <clears throat> so, we have the Glock in our inventory. So that is super cool. So the play fab session does in fact uh, is is basically always uh, instantiated into scene once you log in. So that's super awesome. Let's go ahead and remove the test script over here and just delete it from here. Um, now, unfortunately, I have to leave this uh, episode a little shorter than I would usually just because I have work today um, so yeah uh, sorry if this was more of a debug session than a tutorial but hopefully you guys enjoyed it nonetheless if you did please subscribe it helps me out so much and please remember that we also have a discord channel so if you need any help um, just yeah, feel free to join the Discord server and just message me directly. I'd be happy to help uh, with any of your problems. Um, and thank you again. I'll see you guys in episode four.